Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I might be exposed when we're starting summer. Let's go. Boom. As promised on the last episode, I'm continuing with my. I started talking about having 30 kids. All right. TNT Dynamite. Yes. Obviously, I know you don't want any kids because you made that clear at the end. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'll make that clear again. I don't (laughs) want any kids. (laughs) Clearly. So, okay. What if. Okay. You could have 30 kids. Yeah. But, like, you didn't have to support them financially. No, nope. I'm good, And thanks. you could have it with 30 different women. Mm-hmm. And, and you oh, have, yeah, oh, that, that's an incentive. And, then, and then you could, like, have your own little TNT army, dude. You have 30 little TNTs running around with all sorts of different DNA. And, like, then when they get... So you have them, but see, here's the thing, because you could have <laughs> here's the thing. You could, okay, you know, if you're having, I'm waiting for the thing. If you're having them with different women. Oh, okay. You don't have to wait a year to have the next kid, so you can impregnate thirty women like right um, away. Then you have thirty kids, all about the same age. This is not my fetish. And then they, you have a little TNT army, dude. This, when they get I, to be 30, 25 years old, you're I, like, you're running the. You could be like, you all are gonna be whatever, dude. Doctors, football players, whatever. And and then you have like this little TNT army dominating the NFL. I don't play football. Oh, look, man, you got to show me your Pornhub history because if this is the stuff you're looking up, man, we got to have some conversation. What is me talking about you? Ask, I don't know. I feel like you're trying to push your kink on me. <laughs> but, but is my, your kink my impregnating a bunch kink. of women and take over the world? <laughs> Having like a breeding kink of just like as many of me out there as I can. Yeah, be. No, that's like some sick, twisted dictatorship shit you're talking you're like what are you fidel castro <laughs> no i just I, like, when i was talking you... <laughs> about having 30 kids at the end of last episode i was like what if you could have 30 kids all the same age and they're no. just like all of a sudden you got I, this little I, army of no, 30 youths I, I mean what would you do with with an army of children but like Coney all... 2022, what would you do with a, a bunch of <laughs> Jesus what would you do with a well, bunch no, of dude, children I just think army it would be interesting like if you could, if you could have a kid with numerous different people, and all the, and like how all the kids would be so different, but you, but you're part of all of them, but like then you get like if you have like you have women of different races or whatever, and yeah, like different, yeah. so like you have all these different aspects, and like you have all these kids mm-hmm. that are all part you, but part somebody else. Obviously, it would just be interesting to see how your DNA. <laughs> All right, that's fair. Worked with all these different women. So, look, Nick Cannon has been actually doing that. Now, mind you, he is obviously a millionaire. And he has the money. Because like, yeah. a normal dude couldn't do that. You would not have enough money yeah. to take care of all these children. Because yeah, he has a couple with Mariah Carey. Okay. And then, like, uh, the he has, I think he's up to double digits. I think he has, oh, like, wow. I swear, I think he has, I want to say between 9 and 13 kids right now. That's very specific. Yeah, that's because it's either one of those numbers in my head. Okay. But uh, I think he's between 9 and 13 kids right now, and, like, a bunch of them are with different women. And they're all, like, beautiful women because he's a millionaire. Um, and, like, when you think of, like, the genes that he's got flowing through his gene pool, not to mention the fact that these kids are already going to be set up for life. Right, right, yeah. Like, the money's going to... Like, he's but- building a dynasty well right yeah because he has mariah carey well ha- some of them their mom's rich as f yeah and he's rich as f himself exactly and then and if not if they're not rich or famous like yeah like you said he's finding these beautiful women to like his like it's just gonna be this like and he's not a bad looking dude himself he's no, not no, he's you know successful he's, so, yeah you know. and my, uh, my issue is like if you're seriously like hey yo i'm building a dynasty like in my mind i'm like you are a psychopath <laughs> You know, right? Right? Yeah, I mean... But I I guess, you know, people, some people just want the kids. Yeah, dude, I don't... Well, see, here's the other thing. Nick Cannon ain't got to take care of his own kids. He's rich enough he has nannies. (laughs) I mean, fair, especially when they're all with, like, different women. You can't be there for everything for all 9 to 13 of the Right. But then I guess the other question goes, and this this is not reflective of Nick Cannon. I'm not trying to talk about him, but, like, how good of a dad can you be if you have 13 kids? (sighs) Like how many? Like you can't take thirteen kids to a ball game. So you go into four or I five mean, ball games. And, if you're and, if you're Nick Cannon, you can. Yeah. Well, yeah. You because get, he's you, rich. You but, rent a tour okay, bus. Well, even if you're a normal dude and you got five kids. No. Oh, yeah. You're, you you yeah. ain't taking five kids to a baseball game. Uh, birthdays are going to be slim for everybody. Right. Or you go in. Yeah. You go into five different games. One with each yeah. one kid to give them that individual ball game. Then you're then you're like that's a whole week. 
yeah. and taking kids to ball games. Yeah. What if you don't like ball games that much? <laughs> but it's like, yeah, dude, it's I don't know. I'm glad I don't I have don't, any. Yeah, you're and you're not wrong. And seeing the whole like dealing with like different families too, it's like, okay, I have to go and see my kids all the time and now I have to go to this totally different environment with this woman who our relationship dynamic has a totally one different than I'm used to living in my own natural right? life and I have to try to bond with a kid on a short time period and do all yeah I'm good on that well yeah I don't want like it's already hard enough to think of having five kids in the same house let alone five kids in different places or oh nine yeah or well think about this the more kids you have like if you have 13 kids what the chances that two of those kids are going to completely hate each other pretty high <laughs> When you put that many people in a close environment, two of yeah. them aren't going to like each other. Yeah, it doesn't matter little... if you're blood or not. Yeah, you see, you were only child. So. I was, yeah. Yeah, you were only child. I had brothers uh, and sisters for short periods of my life, and there was definitely a little bit of a little bit of butting heads. Well, right. Imagine there if was. there's 13 of y'all all within like three years of each other. Yeah. You know, people who come up in households like that, they kind of like crave that lifestyle for the majority, the rest of their life. It actually, they say that they're more sociable than, than like uh, people who came up as only child, me and you. Yeah. Days. Yeah, man. Well, cause yeah, I mean, I had a, like one of my best friends lived in a house that was him and his mom and mm -hmm. his three sisters. Yep. And, and so he lived in a house with him and four women. Yep. And His how, whole life. How many kids does he have now? Uh, two. Yep. Yeah. So, and, that, and that's the sweet spot for people who do want kids. People are like, I want a family with like five or six kids. They always yeah. stop with two. Well, two. Well, see, here's the deal. Once you get above one kid per parent ratio, it's impossible. <laughs> it's and that, impossible. and that's so true. I've heard everybody. They're like, we were great, and we had that third kid. It was chaos because you can't split your attention between two kids. Yeah, yeah. If you're in a store. And one of you is watching two kids, and one of you is watching one kid. Once one kid runs off, yeah. Yeah. you're like, oh, God, now there's it's a, they're, they've got me. Numbers game. Yeah, not to mention, like, uh, dealing with, like, issues. Like, all right, I'll go handle her issues tonight, honey. You can go do deal with your son or whatever. Yeah, you know? it, it was hard enough when I had stepkids that were in, like, high school and junior high to, like, if they both had homework they needed to do and needed help with, it was like, well, imagine if you had three kids and all three kids need help with their homework. Your entire night is gone. <laughs> For you and your partner. Hey, yo, that's what you decided, though. If you decide to have those kids, man, yeah, that's, dude, that's on you. So, 30 kids. I'm definitely on that without, if you If you could have the kids and not have to have any of the responsibility. No, I, I don't understand. What's the incentive to having children? You got to sell Carry more. on your legacy. That's the, only, that's the only reason to have kids, uh, dude. Who gives a fudge about my legacy? Like, who gives a fudge about anybody's legacy when it comes down? It's all about care. ego, dude. Well, look, my ego doesn't lie there. My ego, yeah, my ego doesn't lie there either, obviously. Yeah, yeah. So it's not really for me. And I think a lot of it does have to do with the fact that we didn't come up in households with where the, there was that, where that yeah. became like the status quo, the norm. <clears throat> you know what my ego does lie in? Having time to myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that all goes bye-bye when you have kids there, buddy. <clears throat> yeah, That's exactly. That's for sure. Now, you know, I, I just think it's interesting, though, too, that m less and less people are having kids nowadays like yeah. the birth rates are lower than they've ever been well and oh, it's not yeah. surprising now like covid has happened and now there's like war going on and like it's just like man like i was so happy when covid happened i was like man if i would have had like little kids during this it would have drove me crazy <laughs> oh you were happy that you didn't have yeah kids. like when covid was going on i'm I like man like, if I, I was so happy when covid happened. no I was no like, <laughs> no no i, I think it, yeah it obviously <laughs> misspoke like when, I was like, if I had kids during this COVID, oh, okay. oh my God, how much, how much more hard would it have been? You know, trying to like keep I mean, kids yeah, yeah. on top. Ugh. Definitely would have been difficult. Dude, man. kids are hard. I'm glad I don't have any. <laughs> a source, dude, just trust me. <laughs> trust me, bro. Kids are rough. Anyways, that's all time we have today's episode. Please make sure to go to uh, thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. Yeah, uh, we out.